Hey Jeff, uh, what's up? I'm just going to show you some of the sounds that I'm trying to get from my score. So I'm going to um, go through the performance notes first and just go over those. And then I'm going to go uh, through some specific points in the score and just kind of try to show you what I'm thinking about. So the first one is uh, just the, the heavy pressure. So of course, you know, I don't, I don't really play the bass, so obviously my technique doesn't exist. But so the heavy pressure is pretty simple, straightforward. You know, you got your no, normal pressure, whatever speed. But with the with that black line, it just means a lot of. So it's just extreme pressure, so that you get that grating noise. And then, uh, you know, if it's the wedge, then it means you kind of start normal and you go into the extreme okay and then of course if it's the the triangle one then it's like you start normal go heavy go back to normal so that's that's the triangle one and the the sort of now, I should say with that, if you haven't done the pressure, if you've done the pressure stuff, then you know how it works, but it really often helps to really slow down the bow speed as you do that. It gets this, the pressure going a little better. So that's normal, but as I slow, that's when, when I, when I slow it down and I add the pressure, that's when I really get the good noise sound. So this stutter bow thing, it's a little bit um, unusual. Basically, you you have the max pressure, but you're pulling the bow just fast enough for it to speak. And it, it almost like when you get it just right, it's almost like it naturally sort of stutters. So I'm applying the pressure. It's kind of an, un an unpredictable uh, rhythm, which is which is what I'm going for. I mean, so you just apply the max pressures, you get that hard noise, and then you just give it just enough speed that it just starts to make the sound. And then you kind of let that momentum carry itself, and then it kind of stutters in the way that I'm going for. So that's stutter bow. Um, bowing the tailpiece, I'm sure you've done this one a bunch. Um, I find that it helps to rosin up the bow. This isn't really rosined up, but you gotta find the right spot. But basically, for me, as you can see, it's work, it works a little better, kind of lower on my tailpiece. Um, and yeah, you just kind of go slow, add just enough pressure, and you get the, you get this nice tone. Obviously, the pitch of the tone will be different for every instrument, um, but that's what I'm going for. Once you get it going, you don't actually even need all that much pressure. Um, of course, you get you get rosin marks on the tailpiece, but you know it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so the other thing I have is kind of I don't know if this is official. I sort of made this one up. I call it the horizontal shake. And basically the idea is, uh, I think when I use it, you're muting with your left hand, and then I'm on the E string, and I, I found for me it works best in the upper third of the bow, and it's just kind of, it's like a rapid up and down movement, but it's sort of like as fast as you can do it, and with, with some pressure on the string, and you just try to get this like... kind of sound. I think it's better without muting the string. Yeah, I think it's better without muting the string, actually. Get a little bit nicer resonance. And you know what? Actually, I don't think it matters what part of the bow you use. Um, 
I would just say, yeah, uh, just got, it's it's like it's like a tremolo, except rather than tremolo, you know, left, you know, um, perpendicular to the fingerboard, it's more of a tremolo sort of uh, parallel to the fingerboard. So that is the horizontal shake sound, which you, which I do use at the moment. Sorry, I got to look at. Um, my my computer to get the next one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop this video and I'll and I'll show you more sound in another video because it's getting kind of long. Peace.